Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add plugins to a Minecraft 1.15.1 server. We're going to be going over every single step of adding plugins to Minecraft 1.15.1, even downloading plugins, making sure a plugin is compatible for 1.15.1, and all that. It's going to be covered in this video. But first and foremost, I am assuming that you have a bucket server set up. Now there are two ways to do this. The first is using our tutorial linked in the description down below to set up a server locally on your computer. That may be using a server set up locally on my computer to to install these plugins today, but that's not the only option. So if you do want to set up a server like this, you can do so. How to start a bucket server is our tutorial, and it goes through everything. We also have a video up here. It's updated for 1.15.1 now. That video just hasn't released yet, but the time this video comes out, that video will have, and it will be right here. But nevertheless, what if, though, you don't want to set up a server like that, and you want to set up a server a bit easier? Because this video right here, our old one, is 20 minutes long. The new one is about that long as well. So how do you set up a server without, you know, going through that 20 minute process, you want it to be quick and you want it to be easy. Well, your solution is going to be Apex Minecraft Hosting here. So as you can see, this is Apex Minecraft Hosting. We actually host our own server on them and we absolutely love Apex Minecraft Hosting. They have one click installation and one click setup of their bucket servers. So you can go over here and just set up a server in just one click with Apex Minecraft Hosting running a bucket and it is absolutely incredible and easy to do. I mean, as you can see here, plugins, use bucket, spigot, sponge, or paper and play any plugins available. So you can add plugins very, very easily to your Apex Minecraft hosting servers and get them set up in just a few clicks. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server. Again, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. And Apex Minecraft hosting is actually a sponsor of this video. You can check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible bucket server set up without any issues whatsoever. And uh, yeah, do it in less than five minutes and get your plugins up and running in less than 10 minutes total. So 10 minutes total and you've got a server set up, running bucket, and your plugins added to that server all on Minecraft 1.15.1. As you can see, even their mascot here being attacked by bees these days. But nevertheless, Apex Minecraft hosting can be checked out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. But nevertheless, once you've got your server set up, we can go ahead and get plugins installed. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you go to the description down below, this will be the second link down below, and it's gonna take you here. This is our list of the top five best plugins of all time for Minecraft. Most of these, are known and they will update to 1.15.1. I'm actually 100% sure that every single plugin on this list will update to Minecraft 1.15.1. At this time though, that is not the case. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go to Essentials here. Now Essentials isn't updated. As you can see, tested Minecraft versions. It doesn't say 1.15 here, right? Now you can run Essentials, but it's got some bugs and it's got some errors and things like that. So it's very important that you make sure that tested Minecraft versions here does say 1.15. If it doesn't, then you probably can't run it. Now, what about World Edit here? So if we click on World Edit, it's gonna take us off to World Edit's official page here. And World Edit, obviously the best Minecraft plugin pretty much ever made, allowing you to quickly build things and things like that in Minecraft. But if we click on File here, we can see that game version does say 1.15 on it. However, this is also compatible for 1.14 and 1.13, but it does say game version 1.15, meaning we are good to go. It is working for Minecraft 1.15, no problem. So we're gonna go ahead and install World Edit here, but we're also going to install MCMMO. So some of these aren't updated, right? So if we go ahead and click on holographic displays here, it isn't updated. If we click on file, you'll see that the most recent version is 1.14 only, right? Doesn't mention 1.15 anywhere. But if we come down here to MCMMO and click on the download link on that, we can see that it does say tested Minecraft versions 1.15 and even does say native Minecraft version 1.15 as well. So once you're here, you can go ahead and click on the download now button for MCMMO and it will take us off to where we can go ahead and the download will start just in a few seconds. We will need to keep the file in the bottom left. So as you can see, do you want to keep mcmmo.jar? Yes, we do. We want to go ahead and keep that file. On those other Firefox that I ask you in the center of your screen, if you want to save the file, you do want to save it. Now this is, the installation process, by the way, is going to be the same for every plugin. World Edit on the Files tab here, we're going to click on the Download File button. It's going to download on the bottom left. We will need to keep it on Mozilla Firefox and save it, or sorry, save it on Mozilla Firefox and keep it in the bottom left on Google Chrome. But nevertheless, all plugins are going to install the exact same way, but I wanted to go over downloading a few and actually showing you what these download pages look like and what to look for to make sure that you get the correct version because it nothing sucks more than thinking you're gonna be able to use a plugin and then getting a game and it's not the right version it's happened to me before um before version markings was like a lot easier to find like it didn't used to be this easy to find this stuff way back in the day so because of that I used to do that all the time. It was so annoying having to figure out if a plugin was updated and stuff. Now it's easier to find out and I wanna show you how to do that. So you don't have to go through the hassle of testing all these plugins. You know they're gonna work before you install them. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And on our desktop, we have actually three things. So we have MCMMO and that is going to be basically our, you know, 
kind of cool mod that allows you to have skills in game and do awesome stuff like that. Really, really fun. It has a mining skill and excavation skill, just tons and tons of stuff, as well as custom MC MMO abilities like Super Breaker, just tons of awesome stuff. And, you know, like uh, Tree Feller, where you can cut down an entire tree with just one click. Awesome stuff. Then we have World Edit, which is going to allow us to, you know, actually build huge structures easily, change things, replace blocks, all of that stuff. And then we do have our bucket server. As I said, I assumed you already had your bucket server set up. There is our bucket server already set up and running without any issues. So let's go ahead and open up our bucket server. Then once you open up your bucket server, it's pretty easy to actually see during install plugins. Every single plugin is going to install exactly like this in the exact same way. Just go ahead and double click on the plugins folder here. Then once you're in your plugins folder, take any plugins you want to saw and just drag and drop them into your plugins folder. That easy. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything on your Minecraft or anything. Just drag and drop them into your plugin server and then double click on the run.bat file or start your server if you are, you know, playing on a network or not a network server, excuse me, on like a server host like Apex. Nevertheless, as you can see, this is going to load up over here and you'll actually see it say World Edit and MCMMO enabled, right? So as you can see, loading MCMMO, loaded that on up and then World Edit is loading up right there as well. So as you can see, we do have MCMMO here and we do have World Edit here and there are the config files for each of them. So if you wanted to change the World Edit config file, you just come in here, double click on that to open the config file and you could do that. Same thing with MCMMO, come in here, there's the config file, but let's say you wanted to change the experience and how experience is calculated on MCMMO. You can come in here and double click on that. You wanna change the upgrades? There you go, you can change that there. So much cool stuff that you can do. But now just to prove that these are installed, I'm gonna go ahead and click on multiplayer and then I'm gonna click on direct connect. But wait, what is this? Play dot breakdown craft.com yes that is our incredible network minecraft server we have custom survival two incredible grief protected survival servers actually and awesome skyblock our first survival server is actually medieval survival with over 30 custom quests on it and a player-based economy and then we have our aquatic survival server with a slash shop based economy and just awesome community over there you absolutely love it and then we do have custom skyblock as well with an incredible slash mine as well as custom islands OP and chance, it's awesome, you'll love it. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I can't wait to see you online. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on Direct Connect here. And then once we click on Direct Connect, this is just a local server, so nothing too crazy, just our local IP address there. And then I'm gonna join on in. You'll see me join in over here. And then once we get in game, you actually be able to see that MCMMO is you know installed there by all the join messages. Now I am opt here, right? So I am opt and set up and all that stuff, and we are opt on this server. So that means I have access to every single command. If I didn't, you might want to install something like luck perms, right, to be able to set your permissions so that everyone on the server doesn't have access to everything and you don't have to hop up everyone. You can create ranks and stuff like that using luck perms. And we have an in-depth tutorial on luck perms, which you can check out in the description down below, as well as at the eye at the top of your screen. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and test MCMMO. We can do slash mining, for example, and we'll be able to see that we do have basically no mining level. However, if I go ahead and give myself a diamond shovel and a diamond pickaxe here. We can go ahead and level up our mining level really quick. Oh, actually went the spectator instead of survival. So if we go ahead and do this, we'll see our excavation level is going to start climbing. And then we're also going to see our mining level is going to start increasing as well. Once we start getting it down into like, you know, actually mining stuff because we're not there yet. There we go. So now we are excavation level one. And then we go ahead and start mining here. We'll see that our mining is going to start going up as well. And then, uh, then we'll be good. I'll run that slash mining command and that'll be that. You'll know that MCMMO truly is working. Mining is just my favorite thing in Minecraft. I know many people find mining like stupid boring. I love it. I don't know why I love it, but I absolutely love it. So let's go ahead, there we go. So now as you can see, we do have a mining level one. We can actually do slash excavation as well and see that we're excavation level one. But if we do like slash wood cutting, we're gonna see that we are wood cutting level zero, not even touching it. But nevertheless, now we can go ahead and come up here and test the other plugin that we installed, which was world edit. So let's go ahead and do slash slash one. And then there's our world edit one. And then we can do something fun. Let's go ahead and take all of these grass blocks here. So we're gonna click there, make our selection. And then we're going to do slash game mode creative, because why not? You don't have to do that, but I am. So we're gonna do slash slash replace. So slash slash replace grass block with diamond block. There we go. That's always fun. We can also do stuff though pretty cool too, like, uh, let's see, it's been a while. So slash slash brush, and then we can do slash slash brush um, and then we'll do apply, I believe. And then we wanted to do a cylinder and then I'm going to do set. And then let's make this emerald blocks, cause why not? So now, 
set the brush to replace emerald blocks. So now we should be able to, yeah, just right click. All I'm doing is right clicking right now and I am setting all of these, right? It's a great way to make pathways and things like that. Now, if we wanna really change this, we can change this to a cuboid. And now this is weird, so boom, it's gonna go ahead and make a cube. Oh, we, we, we're, in, we're, in, we're in the cube, everybody. We're in, we're in the cube. There we go, yeah, that'll happen. But nevertheless, you can go ahead and like set all of this up all the way up through here, right like so. And then you also have the uh, you know other one here, which is a spear. And that's pretty cool as well, because you don't see circles in Minecraft often, so it's kind of cool to, to see that. And you see you can set up all the way up and maybe make these two connect. If you've seen anything like crazy on a server like this, that's almost like a spear-based shape, and you're like, how are they doing that? That is how. That is how. So there you all have it. That is how you can set up a Minecraft one, or add plugins to a Minecraft 1.15.1 server. It is all covered in this video and set up pretty awesomely. So um, yeah, if y'all have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your plugins. And uh, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I can't wait to see you on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. But anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy your plugins, and I'm out. Peace.